Hey everybody, and welcome back to Dark Souls. For those just joining us, uh, we've leveled up to level 16. We got way more vitality and endurance, because uh, pyromancers have like no health. Uh, endurance, so we can have a higher equip load, and as well as more stamina for blocking and attacking. As well as we put two into dexterity, and I think one more into strength for, well, for us to continue on through the Drake's area. Alright, we want to go down here because there's a secret. It's not really that much of a secret, everybody knows about it. And it's this guy. Don't worry. We won't tell anybody else that that guy is there. This guy everybody knows about. No, but the the real secret, the real real secret is right over here. First, we need to equip the short bow. As well as some 20 standard arrows. What we have to do is we have to shoot the drake's tail. We have to do it at least 20 times. It generally varies, but it seems 20 seems to be the magical number. And we're going to miss the first time. There we go. Now we got to do this 18 more times. So... I'll see you back when we're just about to finish shooting the Drake's tail. Alright. You may have noticed that we switched to the light crossbow, and that's because, well, I missed one too many times. It happens. So. The Drake Sword. Oh, the Drake Sword. Well, we can't actually uh, one-hand it. It's kind of really awkward for us to right now. We're three strengths short. But this is probably the best starting weapon in the game. Uh, for the first half of the game, it will be the weapon everybody uses. We can go through here. Uh, there's a couple of plague rats. Oh, crap. We don't want... Okay, let's not do this part. Alrighty. There's a special ability that the Drake Sword has, which is to do that shockwave. At the cost of, I think, 40 durability, you can do a really powerful uh, strike. And, as you can see, we got a humanity out of that, too. Not bad, not bad. But we're going to go back to our hand axe. It's very trusty and, well, really, uh, it's going to be doing much better for us. Not that the Drake Sword isn't an all-in-out 100% upgrade. The thing is that it's too much of a crutch, and we don't want to use a crutch. Let's see if we can get Drake to burn all of them. Good, good. Now, the question is, can we make them land? It's gotta just... you gotta do it just right and it's... Oh crap! Does that mean he's landing? No, he's not. Aw, oh, man! I really wish I could have sold... Ah, oh, the Gravelord's servant! That is a... that is a dream to come true! Okay, good, good, good. Now let's see if we can get the hell out of here. Yeah, I was expecting that. Let's run through just in case he wants to uh, breathe fire straight through there again. Oh, that's always a panicked area. Sometimes, sometimes you can get him out. This area, it's... Awfully sunny, and this uh, this destroyed statue. If we had enough faith, 
which would be about 50 or if we leveled up enough uh, I'm not leveled up I do I mean if we uh, co-opted enough every co-op every time we beat a boss that would then bring the the faith requirement down by five until about it hits about ten. I think ten is the max or the minimum. Before the Drake comes back, let's go and uh, pick up these items. Nameless soldier souls always good. Same with the claymore. Actually, let's see if we can use that. I don't think we can just yet. Yeah, no, we still need that sixteenth strength. The reason why we came up here, though, is to open up this area. This bonfire is not necessarily closer to anything, but it's, at the very least, gives us a way to have an open arena to fight in. Not for this guy. This guy's a chump. But it's somebody up here. Just want to take this slowly as possible so we don't startle them. It's a black knight with a huge two handed sword. Now then. All right. See ya. Now then, the best thing to do here is, well, to wait till he comes down. Unless he wants to jump down from up high. That is also a possibility. Oh, oh crap. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Alright, now then, let's lead him back into this area, because the more mobility we have, the better. Oh wow, I actually didn't expect to parry that. He is a lot easier to parry than the other Black Knight. It's just that. Because he doesn't have as, met as many uh, tricks. A normal... The one-headed sword Black Knight generally has the ability to uh, do a couple of fake-outs. He... this one does not. Generally seems to be a bit slower, too. And we got a Titanite Shunt. I was kind of hoping for his weapon, or the shield. But we could do with this. Alright. Get this bad boy's attention. Looks like we have a lot of summon signs down, but eh. We don't need them. This area is not too difficult in the first place. As you can see right now the portcullis is open, but if we mosey on up. Yep, you can see that guy going right back there and being a jerk. See what I mean though about these guys just not wanting to attack anymore? I should equip the hollow soldier set. It's not particularly good, but it would be kind of nice to equip something other than the Pyromancer set. But you see what I mean though? How, how they're just not at all willing to attack. why I don't like these guys too much. 
foot. We have the backstabbing power. It's always a fun thing when you just get stuck on a non-slope. Alrighty, we have a boar down there. There's one of two ways we can kill him, and I'd really want to kill him the fun way. Or at least, partly the fun way. Let's see if we can do it correctly. Nope. Oh crap. Yeah, he'll just commit suicide. Right. Bore down, but we didn't get his drop. Oh well. I mean, it's a nice helmet, but not quite the, uh... The item we really want or really need. Ah. Shoot. I ran out of stamina, so I got staggered, and he was able to get a free hit on me. And that's why you gotta have lots of stamina. Uh, the Alluring Skull also had the, bene uh, the beneficial side effect of pretty much getting rid of uh, the Dredge's ambush. That worked out a little bit better, if a bit sloppy, than I expected. Alrighty then. We got... the mystery key. Oh. Such a mystery. There's an... There's only so many locked doors in this place, I'm sure we'll be able to find out where it leads to. Going onto the little balance beam here and pick up a soul of the lost undead. Eh, not that, uh, not that much worth it for a balancing act, I would say. Eh, it's not too bad. I want to make a quick right here, and we find our first new humanoid enemy, the Balder Knight. This one has a rapier, so... You gotta be a little careful on him. Because uh, he has the ability to parry our attacks, and that's just... that's no good. Oh, nice, we got the uh, Balder Helm and a Knight Shield out of that. If we didn't have the Dragon Crest Shield, this would probably be the most immediate upgrade we have after the wooden shield. Now then, let's see if we can get the attention of somebody over here. It's the right person we got the attention of. Don't be afraid. Okay, there we go. I knew you could do it. Really? Re this is this is what we're gonna do? Really? And this is 
actually my most hated Boulder Knight. I don't like him at all because he has a lot of tricky moves to read. Luckily we got the uh, parry and repose perfectly on that one. Alright, let's go and see if we can sneak up behind this bad boy. So, um, hey man, like what you're doing, but uh, don't impede our progress. Oh nice, and we got a humanity for him. That's more or less a lie. This is a shortcut, but it's not, because that guy will respawn, and he'll close the porkless again, so, I mean, how much of it, how much of it is really a shortcut? Halberd. Not too bad, it's... I don't know, I'm not I'm not much for pole axes. Make sure that we're not being followed, because sometimes you get that halberd, you get followed by a balder knight, and when you're fighting other people, you realize, oh, crap. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. Ah. Why did I just attack him there? Oh, blonde moment. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Ah, just the waist cloth. Whatever. We have one of two choices we can do. Personally, I'm going to prefer to go up here really quickly because we have somebody that wants to say hi. He is not considered a humanoid. Oh, that's not good either. Uh, we may be invaded. That's even worse. I, You can't parry this guy. You can't backstab him. He's kind of like a mini Havel, except uh, he's completely vulnerable to our fire. That was a waste of a fireball. Alright, glad we got that bad boy going. And it seems, yep, we're being invaded. Let's get the Firekeeper soul before anything, though. Oh no, we're not being invaded. Alrighty. Well, Firekeeper soul is an consumable item. And we could consume it and get five liquid humanities, which wouldn't be bad, but we want to enforce our Estus flag. The more healing we have, the better. And, hey look, we're back to the Firelink Shrine. It's from that uh, initial shortcut. We'll be back, though. We'll be back. And if you're wondering, that big boy will not spawn again after we rest at the bonfire. He's considered a special enemy and won't come back, just kind of like the Black Knights. Alrighty, well then we're, let's go and reinforce our Estus Flask. Estus Flask plus one. With that, I think we're going to call this one an episode. So I want to thank you all for joining me again on this adventure into Dark Souls.